Hey everybody, it's Jordan with PDQ.com, and it's Patch Tuesday again. And while until this point, Patch Tuesday's been pretty friendly for the year, uh, April is setting things back to the way they were in uh, 2020 when everyone that's sitting at home had nothing but time to find vulnerabilities. Uh, it's a pretty bad one. Overall, there's 120 vulnerabilities that were patched. Uh, a couple of those were rated 9.8 with just very small things keeping them from being a total of 10. A total of 10. I think you can count two of those as zero days. Uh, there's one out there that's already been used in the wild, and there's one that's known that hasn't been used yet. So there's there's a lot bad with this one, and it's worth uh, taking it and getting past it as soon as you can. Uh, to kind of highlight, the one that's already in the wild, luckily this one isn't real bad, where the attack vector is only local. They can't. Uh, they have to have either someone within it click on a link or a bad link to give them access or they have to be on your network to use this one. Uh, but the fact where it's already in use means it's definitely an important one, especially where it's the common log file system driver. It's something that's just on machines. So, I mean, it, it's not easy to get to, but where it's being used, that's a pretty bad one. But we'll go into the things that are real bad now. Uh, this is one of the 9.8s. It's the uh, network file system. Uh, and it's the remote uh, code execu uh, execution vulnerability. So the attack vector's network, it's got a low complexity, it doesn't require any privileges, and it doesn't require any user interaction. Uh, so with all of that, that's real bad. That would be completely wormable, only there is one part of that uh, that kind of keeps it down to the 9.8 instead of 10, and that's that it has to have the NFS, the network file system, installed which is usually a server role. So not every machine is vulnerable on this one, but with how exploitable it is, that's still really bad. Adding to it, uh, the next one's probably even worse. Uh, it's also rated 9.8 and it's uh, RPC call and it's a remote execution. It's the same thing, low attack complexity, no privileges required, no user interaction. It's just something they can run. And where it's remote procedure, that means that people can just get in and execute any sort of script. Uh, one saving grace is a lot of network administrators on the enterprise or the external firewall, they're gonna be blocking port 445, uh, which this uh, this exploit does need that port to be unlocked. So if you're set up that way, it stops external people from being able to use it by default, but anyone internal can run this without any sort of privileges, which makes that one a Pretty bad as though those two alone are really, really bad. It means you want to get past as soon as possible. Uh, you might want to have a quick chat quick chat with your network administrator and uh, see if that is blocked. If not, get that while you patched. But you want to get that sent out and updated as soon as possible. Uh, if it's something like this is going to come by every month, it's something you're looking to skip or bypass, uh, you can use PDQ deploy an inventory, and we can set that up on a schedule. Every time these patches come out, they'll go through and they'll update for you. All you have to do is come and... Uh, Look at my pretty face on video, or maybe maybe read some of my awesome words and find out what's going on with it. Uh, without automation or any sort of process in that, uh, you're gonna want to get to work on this one. This is a bad month uh, for PDQ.com. I'm Jordan.